all right, all right, all right, all right. So, what day is it today? Thursday. Oh, yeah, it says so. Well, actually, it doesn't say what day it is in the top right corner, top left corner. It just says what date. Okay. Day three. <coughs> three! Day three! <laughs> of um, doing this. I was looking at it um, just now and I, I felt like um, Hey Bruno, Romanus and Bon88. How's it going, right? Yeah, I was. It's lacking a little bit of stronger rhythm. Um, as I see it, it needs a lot more places that first changes material. I just, I just don't want everything met, uh, metal, met, metal, metal, metal. Uh, head is too big, and I want to have. like skin elements in there like stretch skin like a, like you peg the skin and then you stretch it and you peg it somewhere else so it becomes like a tarp I think it needs to have some scary factor to it and I think one good place would be the tail making it look like it's uh, you know like a tent Hey, Zeolin. Hey, Eternal Lady. How's it going? And so, also, um, my daughter is home from school today. Um, her assistant is uh, ill. And my wife is in Italy. So, I'll be running after her. All right, let's start. So, as I was saying, I like certain parts of this um, this character, but I also don't like certain parts. So I'm gonna this stream. I'll try to do some adjustments. Um, at the same time as as enhancing the the concept, so hopefully um, hopefully everything will go as planned. So I'm not I'm not gonna try to zoom in too much. Um, But we'll see. I think also with this character, the design elements are going to come across stronger when I add color and shadow. Eternal 80. Um, yeah, kind of. Hey Quentin, how's it doing? How's it going? How's it going? Let me try to find. Um, I'll, I'll look up the other concepts. Um, and they should have these stretch skin elements already in them, if I'm not mistaken. Was it on this guy? Maybe. No. Oh, it wasn't him. So here on the back, you see it's kind of like stretched, even though it's not skin, but it's like pinned and, and stretched, pinned and stretched, like flaps of, of skin like on top. So that's kind of like, I want to carry on that theme. Oh, you, you're right. I forgot to Google how you pronounced Quentin. Is it Kantan? I need to check that. 
and my apologies my apologies Q I'll just call you Q um, yeah I'll, I'll look that up actually that's proper probably the most polite thing to do I like I I actually like the design element of, uh, of this knee I like it that it feels like it can like slot in and and I can imagine it being quite loud uh, running which is which is a cool idea so I really like the uh, the idea of this world it's quite funny uh, the whole idea of world building is really tantalizing. Uh, it is really something I've always enjoyed, even as a kid, like creating new worlds. A lot of the, you know, like when you're as when you're small, the imaginary imagination play, you know, where where you have some character and they're in some other world, and you know, you, whatever game you you, you come up with. I always enjoyed that, like immensely. I always found it so much, so much fun to do. Like this, take on a character as a role, and and they are somewhere, and you're trying to imagine. You know, like what, what they experience and different colors of the world, and you know all these things that that kids do. I, I really, I can really remember it. And uh, one of the things I tried to do always, uh, I, I remember, was to emote with the character. Like feel what the character felt. It was weird. I remember as a kid doing that. Hey Yatsuki, good morning. Good morning. Hey, Tristan. <laughs> Turtle. <laughs> oh, that is funny. That is funny. So we've been calling you ass all day at work. <laughs> Oops. All right, so we'll I can't have to stop calling you Q as well. <laughs> I'm not going to have any. I need to learn your name. So QP, is that French for toilet paper? Like English for TP? Ass paper? <laughs> Ask. I just thought my sounded just like my daughter said a home. I was like, <laughs> thank you, Paul. Yes, still this. So for this concept, like I mentioned the other day, that I want to have it feel like it's running through. I can't have it like that. Running through the jungle, like the bushes, just not caring. So it needs to feel like it's shredded. It's shredded skin. Sorry, sorry, Q. Or Contin, or however you said to me. Cantat. Cantin! <laughs> hey, Huad. Thank you very much. The summer.
tillsammans, tillsammans. Eternal, yeah, it's Thursday, and tomorrow we all know what that day is. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. So I was trying to find time to stream, uh, but it's hard to, to focus. Like I said, my wife is in Italy. Uh, I need to keep an ear out for the kids, so I can't like fully engulf in the music and all these things. And, just doesn't feel like I can relax fully and do a stream. So, oh, Matilda, I ask a day. Hey, Captain Bose. By the way, I'm looking into a new computer finally. I, I I was like trying to make a custom computer without you know like hunting parts and so on, and it just taking so long. I eventually just said, you know, let's just buy one of those you know like uh, pre-made ones, but at a more of a like specialist store. So at least I'm gonna have a, like a custom high-end, uh, like almost top of the line gaming PC. But I looked at the specs, and the specs actually are great for a lot of uh, you know working with art. So that's good. You know, massive, uh, not massive, but huge amount of RAM, a good graphic card. Uh, good hard drive space, stuff like that. Yeah, it's really, I mean, I used to be really into that. Like, reading up on, on all the specs, uh, finding the best compatible version. I've tried, and I just went, like, uh, I haven't done it for too long, so I asked a friend, he looked, and, uh, and there's just so many complications, I'm fed up with it, I just buy a new, buy a new one, <laughs> be done with it. Yeah, Huva, it's a huge issue for, for um, Northern Europeans, this eternal Eternal darkness uh, during winters. It's so easy to uh, go crazy. I guess that's why there's such a huge suicide rate in, in Northern Europe. Not huge, but it's a big, bigger statistically than normal. Children, yeah, I'm looking at like a price range of one and a half thousand euros. Kind of like it's going to be around there for sure. But with those specs, um, I'm not going to need a new PC for a long time. Like that's what I usually do. I think I've mentioned it before. But uh, what I usually do is just buy a powerful one and then don't do anything with it for a couple of years, you know, so, it, so it, you know, so it's not wasted money. What? Yeah, that sounds fun. A very long airplane trip back from... Um, Thailand with sick kids around and you don't have kids that's uh, I can I can pity pity the fool
So what I'm going for here in the on the tail is like I want to make it feel like um, as I see it in my head, where I where I'm gathering the reference of of designing this tail is uh, it's so funny. It's when Forrest Gump runs away from the car as a kid, and his uh, leg braces kind of fly off. And I'm seeing that in my mind, this leather contraption, contraption with metal joints, and so on. That's where where I'm where I'm looking in my mind for design of this tail, because I want it to be, you know, like uh, very used and broken, and like looks like it's been falling apart. So funny. Who are, yeah, exactly. I think I bought I bought this computer. I had to change a hard drive two times, I think, and a graphic card one time because it died. But um, overall, I think I it's almost nine almost nine years old. And at the time, it cost me like a, a thousand euros, maybe. So it, they last a long time, you know, if you buy good enough specs on the computer so that um, you're not going to feel the passage of time on the system. I know that one of the people on Discord, they bought a new computer. Uh, recently, and she, uh, hers looks quite high tech. Who oh. are yeah, exactly. But one one concern I have though about uh, these more modern computers with water cooling and all these things is like how well do they last? I mean, obviously there's higher technology; they can um, perform better. But everyone knows. Well, it's quite known that uh, the more moving parts, the greater the chance of, of uh, machine failure. That's why like these old machines, like these tractors, etc. They can just keep going, you know, because there's not a lot of moving parts in there. It's just an extremely simple engine made out of like cast iron <laughs> with like one cylinder pushing the engine around. And it's really hard to break because, you know, the pieces are not that fantastic. It doesn't. It's no Ferrari, you know. You can't race with with the tractor, but it does what it needs to do, right? So my 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 worry with these more modern PCs and these advanced systems is like, I don't think they're they they last that long. So time will see. Time will tell if if uh, in ten years. I'll still be using my new computer or if I've had to replace it because of system failure or hardware failure. Hey, Mr. Sicko. I'm good, man. A bit tired. Been running around after the kids a bit. Slept in. My daughter, daughter is sitting over there up from school playing iPad currently. <laughs> Mr. Sicko, no, this is no no nothing. This is just default grenade hair, like it's over there. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, she's she's sitting over there. Yeah, but that's the thing with like uh, more advanced machinery, right? They they break easier, but they also perform more. So if you have the the money to constantly um, take care of the system, um, because like I said, the more moving parts, the um, easier it is to break. But if you got the money for it, you know, it can be really, really, really exciting, you know? And that's why also I'm investing in a stronger computer uh, so I can do more, right? But I'm well aware that this more advanced system might, might, might fail. But that's, that's fine. It's a calculated cost. Instead of nine years like this tractor, <laughs> maybe five years, you know. No, my, my current computer is actually not too bad. It's just not not powerful enough. And it's, it's like parts are falling, breaking. Right. Hey Ziggs. Thanks for the thanks for the stroll down the beach. <laughs> You and me, we rocky run that that beach all day. Yeah, PCs, you know, they should be definitely more like tractors. You should get it and it should function and you shouldn't have to think about it. But everyone knows that that's not the case. <laughs> Tractor PC, yeah, they're 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 good. I almost almost shit my pants because I couldn't erase one of the lines, and I was like, oh no, have I been drawing on the wrong layer? Luckily, it was no problem. I oh, I can't just have. I need to draw stuff like this as well. It's hanging like it's been flailed. Baldi, thank you, Matilda. Thank you very much, Siko. You know, it's my job, so <laughs> it's a good thing that you're impressed because the idea is that professionally, obviously, this isn't professionally, this is a uh, warm up, but uh, we make people buy games. So it's a good thing that you're, you're impressed by it, which means I'm, I'm doing something right. <laughs> You know, the, the, I need to remember that this isn't final line art version, still. Or maybe I, I should... <sighs> maybe it's gonna be... Well, I'm, I know I'm good at drawing. I should be good at drawing. I've been doing it for so many years. But thank you. Nice comments are always appreciated. Makes the makes the struggle uh, that's that much easier. You know? It's not easy to to grind art to get good. You know, takes so much effort to get good at art, time and focus and all these things because you don't get good overnight you know it takes it takes so much practice and so many hours Ooh. 
Kuvad, um, well, it's Thursday, so there is not a stream or stream <laughs> uh, scheduled for them, I think. Um, they do Mondays and Thursdays, uh, Monday, Mondays and Fridays, I think. But, um, I mean, they've done streams sporadically uh, lately. Uh, so, who knows, maybe they will. For those who don't know uh, who who uh, who is talking about, it's uh, Beard Bros uh, uh, channel. Beard Bros underscore, I think, like that. For those who want to twitch them. Hey, Team Rimmers. Of course I am. Of course I am. I'm always here, hosting you, lurking in the shadows, observing you. So, uh, Tim, uh, what's this um, post you did on on um, on Twitter about saying that you're you're uh, you're kicked off of YouTube? What was that about? Or like that they they that you're not eligible for YouTube, or be getting a monetization, or what was it, or was it just a, like a political post, like a stand, taking a stand post. Really, you got kicked out of the payment program. Whoa. So uh, 10, uh, 1K followers is the cutoff for monetization. But you have over 1,000. So what were their... Um... Spill the beans, Tim. Spill the beans. Why aren't you allowed to play? Why aren't you allowed to play with the rest of the children, Tim? Tim. Tell me. <laughs> Bad boys. But you also need over 4K hours viewing. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Let's look at mine. YouTube? Oh, where do you see that stat? My channel, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. 1,239 subscribers. Um, customers channel. Where's the stats? Forty one thousand views. Where what was the viewing hours? How do where do you see that? Hmm. Analytics. Time is ticking. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick. Uh, watch time. Five thousand two hundred. Oh. Minutes since December. No. Oh. What's the lifetime? There we go. Watch times in minutes, lifetime. Here we go, here we go. Here, look at some stats. 244,000 viewing minutes. Look at that estimated revenue. <laughs> Shit stats.
Hey, Baldrix. Yeah. The estimated revenue uh, is not really like amazing, is it? Like twelve, twelve dollars on my channel's lifetime. <laughs> Isn't it's not like per week or month at all. It's the whole lifetime of the channel. <laughs> but that being said, I mean I haven't pushed my channel at all. I use it like a as an archive. I don't promote it in that sense. It's it's what's what's it called? Or, organic growth. But so many people are like really pushing their marketing. I have not. Team Remmers, yeah, they, I mean, they, they're, they're definitely doing it for money, mon, money, ish, money uh, reasons. It's crazy, Matilda, isn't it? Crazy, totally crazy. Oh, really, Baldrix? Well, um, thank you for joining. Very much appreciated. I, I do enjoy company when I do my warm-ups. And I really, really like it when people join me. So Tim, are you going to be hosting? Are you going to be uh, streaming? Oh, you're offline. Then I can't raid you. As my time is up. It's getting there. It's getting there. I kind of like the idea. I, I kind of don't like the idea. I need to draw a back leg, which I haven't. Shame on me. I'll just draw it, draw it in as a silhouette for now, for the sake of presentation. So people don't go, uh, excuse me, uh, you don't have a back leg. Your drawing is not complete. I am better than you. Hey, Bazari. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome to the end. This is the end. Uh, so, thank you very much. Did I get the hardest question as a parent? What, attorney? Team Rimmers, yes, confirm. Zombie Robot DLC for Horizon confirmed he, right here in the stream. Oh, how we make babies. Yeah. I've told him, my son, not to like stick it in, but uh, I told him that you need two, and uh, the, 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 the boy puts the, the baby inside the belly. And he has like this science book about how the uh, baby grows and stuff, stuff like that. All right. Thanks everyone for joining in. Uh, have a fantastic day. Good night. If uh, you're at that end of the world, um, 
much appreciated to to spend uh, each day with you guys. I really enjoy it. You are all very fantastic people. You make me a happy camper. See you guys tomorrow. It's Friday. It's Friday tomorrow. Imagine that. Friday. All right. Whoa. Wrong button. Hmm, nice. All right. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow.